I did it! Four years ago today, I almost passed in the hospital. Today, I'm happily married and just gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Never give up on life. Ever. Hmm, that's weird. In your other post, you claim you're a guy who just went on his first date yesterday. So, congratulations? Oh, so what you're saying is you can't be a dude and a chick at the same time within one day? Wow, that, that's crazy. It's almost like that means this person's a complete liar. What a shock. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Mail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot post from r slash quit your BS. Let's get into it. My friend and her wife adopted a girl. This isn't yours. This is Kristen Gabriel and her family. Her child is not adopted. Oh, cute picture, baby, different color people. Oh, that means lots of karma. Must take photo, post as if my own. Get much upvote, ween, ween, ween. Or, or hear me out, be creative, make your own post, share photos of your own family and go viral. It would be a lot more satisfying. It's my last day of chemo. Freaking finally! Okay, so this is you as well? I can't help but notice a drastic difference in skin tone, among other things. Dude, this is the worst kind of post to Jack. Uh, the, the art one's still ridiculous, but this? Fronting as if you just defeated cancer. Dude, that's the lowest of the low on Quit Your BS. It's the trashiest thing you can do. The struggle those people go through is unimaginable. And for you to just take their story and act as if it's your own just for some upvotes is so ridiculous. And please, please, if you've ever done that and you're watching this video, click off immediately. I don't want you watching my videos. I'm not a native English speaker. I wasn't sure. So I asked. I didn't realize xenophobia was prominent on this subreddit. I will leave. Well, yesterday you said you spent six years working on a Nimitz class boat. If you spent six years in the American military, I think you probably speak English well enough to not use the not a native speaker excuse. Not to mention in the same comment, you claim three different high level college degrees. Looking at your comments and your perfectly serviceable grasp of English, not to mention the unexplained claim of xenophobia, I'm going to call BS. You're trolling. <laughs> oh, I love this. Just call them out on every front possible so that there is no way for them to deny it. Oh, well, here's why you're wrong, because if you were actually in the military, you would know this. Oh, here's another reason you're wrong. I looked at your post. Oh, here's another reason you're wrong. It's just endless proof that this dude is wrong and either just straight up lying or trolling. But regardless, he got bodied. And oh, look what happens when you try to do this and you get caught. Negative 39 upvotes or 39 downvotes. If I want to say it like I know English. Yeah, dude, stop doing this. It's just lame and sad. I'm a 14 year old who has brain cancer and is gonna pass within three weeks. I was diagnosed at 10 years old and was estimated to have five to 15 years left, but the tumor started growing more rapidly. And after I got frequent migraines and was throwing up, it was revealed that the tumor has rapidly grown and spread. Okay, but, but check this link out. Um, this is just completely fake. The fact that this was mostly copy and pasted and the account was made hours ago makes it obvious. It's never good to lie for attention, karma, or awards. Yeah, clearly that's a message that for some reason doesn't get through to these people. I don't know if they're just young and immature and have no creativity or what, but I don't understand the appeal of this. And like I already said earlier in this video, this is like the most trashy thing you can do. Just, it's unimaginable. And then I, at least these people are so unoriginal and uncreative that it's really easy to catch them because they just go, oh, I saw this, let's make a new account and try to get clout on that one. Why, dude? 
Why do you want clout so bad that you're willing to do stuff like this for it? Instead of trying just for two seconds to have one original idea or share an original story that's unique to you. I'm sure if you think about it, you have plenty of stories that could go completely viral. But no, that's way too much effort. Copy and paste is so much easier. Corey, you are awesome. I've been subbed to him for a while. Okay, that's interesting because Dark Theme was actually only introduced to YouTube in 2017. Corey had his channel since 2009 and reached 1 million subs in 2016. This picture was screenshotted with Dark Mode on, even though Corey had 1 million subscribers before the time that Dark Mode existed on the platform. It's as if it wasn't obvious enough it's fake. Also, who in the world screenshots pictures of them being subscribed to YouTubers randomly? You wouldn't have a reason to take this at all, being that Corey wasn't large with only two subs and you couldn't predict his popularity. Yeah, that's actually an interesting point. Like, I know some of you have obviously been here since I was at like a couple hundred subs or, you know, some of you were even here from my first sub but I don't think any of you would have screenshotted this. If you did, that's awesome and I appreciate it, but I'm not nearly as popular as this guy and I started creating way after him. So even if you guys were to say, oh, I've been supporting Long Nail since day one, that's still like maybe barely a year by now, but I still appreciate you guys. Just as long as you're not doing stuff like this. <laughs> Dude, nobody thinks you're cooler or more fancy or anything like that just because you found a YouTuber early. Like, that's awesome. You got to enjoy a YouTuber for longer and you get to share that and help them grow. Cool, but at no point are you gonna go, oh, you found him early? Well, you're better than me. No, dude, that's never happening. Okay, but at 12 a.m., it says I was logged in on an iPhone XS while I was at home in this area. He knows darn well that he sent that to himself. And then here's this dude that logged into his ex-girlfriend's account, sent a message to himself. I feel so bad. I cheated on you. I never deserved you. Yeah, he sent that as her logging into her account. And then she goes, oh, yeah, actually you didn't. Puts him on blast and shows proof that that wasn't her that sent that message to him. This is just so golden. This dude really thinks that he did something here and then he just gets put on blast in front of all his friends and family and all her friends and family because he thought this was a clever way to get back at her and make her look bad. Dude, I get it. Your feelings are hurt, but this is something I would expect out of a 13 year old. Guys, guess what? I put Nicolas Cage on Shrek. LOL, no you didn't. Uh, dude, but this really isn't that hard to do. If you spent, I don't know, maybe an hour or two looking up Photoshop tutorials, I'm sure you could learn to do this on plenty of other faces. But again, oh, that's, that's so much work, man. And I could just post this and just say it's mine. And who's going to check me? Well, apparently a lot of people. And now, well, what else are you going to do? Nothing. Because anytime you post anything ever, people are going to go, oh, yeah, that's probably not his. So you kind of, yeah, you kind of played yourself. Picasso on driveway, dirt, water, power washer, concrete, 2020. I'm already in BCW recommended. Uh, dude, this is my work. Don't take my artwork. Dude, this is crazy. Like, I get it. This is awesome. And I would want to share this with my friends and family, too. But I wouldn't say it was me. I would just share it and then, you know, say, oh, this is cool. Maybe I want to try to learn it and then, you know, learn it, watch some videos and post my own stuff. But, dude, honestly, this is super unique and a really good idea. So shout outs to you, man. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash quit your BS. You enjoyed the video? Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. 
So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.